All right, guys, so the mummy returns. So does Brendan Fraser and Rachel Weiss and all the people we love from the first movie with the addition of Dwayne Johnson as the Scorpion King. All right, guys. Let's talk about The Mummy Returns. So, The Mummy Returns is set some number of years. I don't remember the exact number. But it's set some number of years after the first Mummy movie. And basically what happened was that... Um, Rick and Evelyn, they got married. They had a kid named Alex. And he gets this bracelet stuck to him. It leads them to the Scorpion King and... Imhotep is back for some reason from the last one, and he he wants to fight the Scorpion King, and everyone wants the Scorpion King, and Dwayne Johnson's the Scorpion King, and guys, I'm going to be completely honest. I like this movie a lot. Not as good as the first movie. I adored the first Mummy. This one, not so much. I still really enjoyed it, and I had fun, and a lot of the action sequences were really fun, and the characters were all really fun. It's just that it... There was something about it that just... It was not as fun for me as the first one. Now, hopefully they fix this. Uh, this is fixed in the third one. I still haven't watched the third one again yet. I have it sitting here on my Blu-ray shelf. <laughs> but I didn't, um, I still haven't watched it yet. But I'm gonna soon. Hopefully. Uh, I'll have to before next week. Because I'm doing a review of it. But, um, Yeah. Honestly, guys, this movie is pretty entertaining. It's just, after being hyped up by how great the first Mummy was, I was, I guess, expecting a little bit more from the sequel. And it's a really good sequel. It, it's a very fairly entertaining movie. It's just a little bit, a little bit disappointing. Um, but yeah, I, I don't hate the movie. I mean, there are positives. Love Brendan Fraser, guys. Love Brendan Fraser. One of my favorite action stars of the early, or the 90s and early 2000s. Great. He's great. Um, Rachel Weisz. She's fine as uh, Evelyn. You know, she's she's really good. She's just not very... She's not a very interesting character. I find Rick to be more interesting because he's more the Indiana Jonesy type guy, whereas Evelyn is more just into the books and stuff. Uh, the kid actor was fine. Um, it was cool to see Imhotep back again. I like... I like the character. Um, it was cool to see his lady friend from the first movie that he was trying to resurrect. Um, and Dwayne Johnson. He was cool. I like Dwayne Johnson, so it was cool to see him. And especially because this was like his first movie, really. So that was cool. It's just that, whereas there are memorable scenes and moments from the first Mummy movie that I can remember, this one doesn't have so many of those. I mean, the scene on the bus was kind of cool, but there's just nothing really memorable to me about this one compared to uh, the first one. And, yeah, I just, I feel like... I feel like the first one is the peak of where this franchise was. 
excuse me. So it's just slowly starting to go downhill from here. It's not a horrible movie, though. I mean, it's I'm making it sound way more... Um, I'm making it sound way more negative than I mean it to because I really do enjoy this movie. I had a fun time while watching it. It held my interest. It had some funny moments. It had some strong characters. It's just that it wasn't very memorable. And that sucks because if you know me, you know I like memorable movies. Movies that really impact me like John Wick, Logan, John Wick Chapter 2, Spider-Man 2, Superman the movie. Movies like that where they make an impact and you remember them for years and years to come. Whereas this one, not so much. I, yeah. I really did have a good time with it though. It's just not the most memorable movie ever and it's not even a very memorable movie it's well directed well acted the action scenes are all good the cgi is pretty bad honestly uh the cgi could have been way better in this but in all honesty i'm still gonna give this a pretty positive rating i still really enjoy the movie and i would recommend if you've seen the first mummy and you like the first mummy I would recommend watching it, but uh, I'm going to give The Mummy Returns a B+. Thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.